This is embarrassing. I've not actually written a script for this. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Recently, Quality Violence Cinema hit me up on Discord and gave me a link for a mixtape that he created with Gero or Dylan. You know, the Australian boy that made Japanathon. And this tape in particular really sort of piqued my interest because it was something a little bit different. Um, it's based around fucked up animation and the title of the tape is pretty fitting. Now that's fucked up animation mixtape. It's not bad. But really why it piqued my interest is because I've grown up over the years watching tons of animation from Lee Hardcastle to David Firth, Arm Animations, you know, Studio Ghibli, um, you know, being quite a big part of my childhood as well. So I thought, you know what, I don't really know much about fucked up animation, you know. My god, I was surprised. Um, this is a brilliant, brilliant tape and would highly recommend you guys watching it. But before I get into why I really like this tape, um, Here's a little reaction that I recorded. I've tried to record this three times because I, I don't know what's going on OBS, but I can't seem to capture footage. But this is a crapshoot. Um, let's give this another watch. I haven't got very far in it, so I haven't really seen much. Mainly the opening title. So uh, <laughs> let's just give us a little watch. Um, I'm very interested in watching this tape because I love animation i always have done and when people mix really really fucked up gore and messed up themes in animation that is just you know something very interesting and um cool to me so let's uh let's give it a watch i'm very curious right play play there we go Well, that was a fucking fever dream and a half, my god. Um, wow. <sighs> nice freeze frame there, but my Christ. Yeah, you boys have put the fucking work into that because Jesus Christ, that's like a... I, I, I'm lost for words. Um, yeah, we're only four minutes in and that's taken place, like... Okay, so I know this is going to be sense for YouTube, but it was simply just a load of really crude mixture of 2D stop motion and like computer generated animation put together that was really sort of graphic and lots of dismemberment, lots of boobs being cut off, um, but it all flowed like a like a psychedelic nightmare, and that is just. The audio design as well, my Christ, like, you, yeah, you guys picked this out perfectly. I don't know if you guys have made the music or anything, but whoever's done that, um, yeah, props, props to you. Let's carry on with this. I'm enjoying this so far. Stanky. It's just absolutely non-stop. It's an assault on the senses. I'm enjoying it though, because, you know, I like death metal and that. Or hold the bog. Even though that Sanger Suga Borg's fucking, you know, sludgy, downtoned fucking stoner metal, but whatever you want to call it. But fuck it out, this is just Yeah, I was not expecting this. <laughs> no ways was I expecting this at all. Um Yeah, props to everyone involved in this. This is fantastic. I had to pause that um, just seen a chainsaw. Um, I recently just found out what a chainsaw was um, originally designed for uh, childbirth. Uh, yeah. It's fucked up, isn't it? Anyways, moving on. This is a head fuck, and I can't stop watching it. And yeah, it's just very, very creatively put together, and I really like that. So yeah, I'm already enjoying this. I keep saying that a lot, but that is, that is true.
this is the part of the tape where it's just full on shits having shits, people shitting on people, people eating shit. All animated, not you know, no, not real, but just animated. And we've gone for the whole trifecta of just pure filth right now. Um, big shout out to Japan for animating all this. <laughs> If that's how we look at it, but yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Now. I'm a little bit lost for words there, because that... I was not expecting it to go down that route. <laughs> oh, good lord. Um, Yeah, that is... That animation is fucked. Well, it's time for review, I suppose, isn't it? So, yeah, that was an actual head fuck. <laughs> I keep saying that in the reaction, but also in my thoughts as well. Um, it's a really cool change of pace, and not many tapes like this exist, like I mentioned previously, and there is some very graphic and messed up animation in this. It definitely is a brilliant mashup of different styles that vary from incredibly crude, like really crudely made in their spare time, to very, very detailed, and I, I love that a lot genuinely. The great anime sections were a highlight for me because it looks super detailed. I had no idea that kind of thing existed. You know, I've seen gory animes like, I guess like Akira maybe, or Blood Sea maybe, that, that kind of thing. But I, I was super surprised and, and I miss when anime actually had some effort put into it rather than nowadays where it's just very cheaply made and is a bit oversaturated. And I really want to find some of these titles that were in there, I'm not joking. <laughs> Music selection was amazing. Obviously, you know, I love a bit of deathcore and metalcore and just, you know, heavy, disgusting music in general, as you can probably tell. But yeah, I love some of the music in this. It was no surprise to me that there was quite a bit of hentai in this, obviously. And most of it was very bizarre, involving, you know, anime girls with massive, massive boobs and just really, just generally, just generally really disproportionate. And it was just really stupid and... It was just very goofy and silly and I'm all there for it, to be honest. The only real gripe I have with this tape is that there were sections that broke every sort of, I, don't know, I guess, theme or animation style up and they were all mashed together as some sort of like fucked up animation fever dream and it was it was cool. I like really liked the idea of that. But there were points in this where the audio and visuals were so intense and it really wore me out halfway through, which was disappointing. But the very first time I saw it, I thought this is a really clever idea. You didn't really know what was going to happen next and I liked that. Overall though this tape is a nice breath of fresh air and it's incredibly different and doesn't really rely on gross out content. There is gross out content in this but there is gross out content in this but it doesn't solely rely on that which I, I can respect. I believe Toxic Filth Video are doing a limited run of this but I imagine if you ask nicely Quality Violent Cinema will give you a digital link something like that. But yeah give it a go. It's pretty damn good. <laughs>